Hello everyone, this is Almir, Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima. I hope everyone had a great holidays and a happy new year. Today I am here uh, just five minutes uh, from my, away from my QTH and I have a brand new uh, homebrew antenna system uh, to show you. Um, it's a two element uh, beam antenna on a V configuration. Uh, this antenna actually I built uh, about a couple of weeks ago and uh, but I never had the chance to uh, test and uh, so today will be my very first time testing and uh, hopefully I can uh, tune in to uh, 10, 12 and 15 meters. Um, the uh, two elements uh, Yagi antenna that I had uh, made of uh, fishing poles and uh, aluminum tapes uh, it was great, it worked really, really well for the time being, but uh, after a while, uh, doing so many uh, portable operations, uh, setting up, and putting down, setting up, putting down, and uh, it was getting kind of uh, weak, and uh, the uh, fishing poles were uh, pretty strong actually, but the aluminum tape, it's, it's very fragile and it breaks quite easy. Uh, for example, the last time uh, we were at the cottage, uh, I was tuning for the 15 meters, uh, which it, it's like the largest part of the, the stick tuning. And uh, one of the, the elements, the, uh, the tuning uh, stick, it got stuck and I pulled and it broke the tape in, uh, apart, like half an inch apart. And, uh, and I had not bring the, uh, the aluminum tape roll. So I could not fix that and there we go, the 15 meters band, I could not operate it. So, Short after, I realized that uh, it was kind of getting difficult uh, actually to transport the, the elements because since uh, the aluminum tape was wrapping around the elements, uh, the elements were not collapsed anymore. So it's, it was kind of hard to transport. Uh, you know, would it fit in in the car, but it would come right to the front end of the car. So it wasn't safe. So there was uh, quite a few issues. And short after, I saw a, uh, a whip uh, telescope whip sticks from China and uh, it's very similar to the MFJs uh, but a lot cheaper very very cheaper and uh, so I bought two of them uh, through AliExpress and uh, it cost me about uh, 46 dollars Canadian dollar which is so inexpensive and they took about uh, four to five weeks uh, to arrive here and uh, it's not the same thing like MFJ, I'll show you sh uh, shortly. And uh, so, and then I, I, I said, uh, well, the other two elements I'll, uh, I'll use, uh, because I have a, a, a few MFJs, uh, the 17 foot, I believe is the MFJ 1970 or 19, something like that. Anyways, uh, but it was much, much heavier than the ones from China. And it was a bit shorter too. I think it was uh, 17 feet and four inches. And uh, the one from China, it's like 18 feet and four inches. So I said, you know what? I'm going to order uh, two, two other. And, uh, but this time I found it on uh, Amazon. It was uh, just a little more expensive. I think it was about $10 more expensive. And uh, so I ordered through Amazon because it was much faster. It got here like in a couple of days. So it cost me, I think it was like $58 or something like that. So that's not too bad. So I end up with four, uh, four uh, telescope whip sticks, like exactly the same. So this is the, uh, the uh, whip stick from, uh, from China. I don't know if you guys can see, I, I'm not too sure uh, what, uh, what is display on the, on the view. Um, but yeah, so this is the, uh, the cheaper one from China. The only thing that I didn't like is at the, at the bottom here, at the base. Um, for example, the MFJ has a, um, a sort of a socket that it goes like right from here all the way down and also in, with the treads. And uh, so this one here, it has the treads and uh, to secure them, it's pressed against the, uh, against the antenna itself. And I thought, well, this is, I'm not sure. If you're, if you're operating like totally vertical, I don't think it would be an issue. But if you uh, do like in a V configuration or either horizontal configuration, I'm not sure about this, this, this base here, that, you know. 
So this is the hub that I printed on my 3D printer. Uh, so this is the um, reflector uh, part of the antenna. And uh, as you can see, it joins the, both antennas by this uh, 12 gauge uh, copper wire. And uh, in here is the, uh, the boom. So the boom this time that I have is a uh, 20, 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters aluminum tube. And uh, so to fit quite nice and tight in here. So I'll show you uh, how it is after set it up. And so the, uh, the, telescope, the telescope stick uh, inserts by the, from the top in here. And uh, what I have done is at the, at the bottom, at the bottom here, so there's a uh, coupling nut, okay, for uh, M10, I believe it's the M10 uh, coupling nut. And you go sort of, uh, I, you fit from the bottom here, you insert from the bottom, and it goes up to here because it's only like 30 millimeters. And then from the top, you insert the, uh, the whip stick in here, and you just, as soon as you touch the, the coupling nut, and then you just turn, and it grabs the, the coupling nut, and it secures quite nice. And also this, this part in here, uh, I printed it slightly longer, so the, the bottom of the, the, the uh, whip stick, it's, it's protected, like encased by this part here, which is about 30 millimeters. And because I was uh, a bit concerned about this, the bottom of this antenna here, once you uh, set up for a horizontal or either a DV configuration. So I'm not, I, I don't trust too much of this part in here. But since I print a little longer, so it's gonna be uh, encapsulated here. So that's gonna help the antenna itself. So this is the boom, uh, 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters aluminum tube. Uh, the only problem is that they didn't have the uh, six feet long. Um, so they only had like three feet uh, pieces. So in the middle, I joined them here in the middle with some uh, coupling uh, 3D printing that I did inside and then bolted both sides, uh, bolt and then uh, Come up with the uh, the join, but uh, eventually I have to ch probably change this. Uh, it's it's a bit rotating uh, the uh, the inside. So, but anyways, just for now, it will be fine. So the boom is about six six feet long, and it's okay for it's good for 10, 12, and 15 meters. Uh, for 17 and 20 meters, uh, they suggested to be around between 8 and 9 feet long. So that I have to uh, come up with another uh, piece of the, uh, uh, the aluminum uh, tube. And uh, so let's take a look at the SWR and, uh, and see where we are. The, uh, the measurements for the, uh, the whip sticks I took from my uh, two elements Yagi to start. And then after that, and uh, I can accurate uh, resonate where I went to. So here we are uh, with the SWR. Uh, took him a little while to tune in, uh, but since this is the first time, uh, so it's not too bad. 1.16, somewhere at the beginning of the 10 meter. So that's not too bad. So, all right. So let's go inside and see what we got. Roger, Roger, thanks for the 5 and 9. I got you 5 7. I am a portable 20 watt Ottawa, Ontario QSL. Okay. 
guys time to wrap it up and go home uh, it's getting cold uh, we had a little break from the winter uh, today is only uh, minus 5 Celsius so it's not too bad tomorrow should be the same I hope uh, I can get down here and uh, do some more run some more tests uh, primarily I'm pretty happy with it. I think I I don't know if there's much of a difference between the V configuration and the horizontal configuration uh, even though I printed, I, I made a, a hub uh, uh, from my t uh, 3D printer on the horizontal configuration, but with this type of uh, tele telescope uh, whips, uh, you need a, a uh, guidelines on each element, so it makes a little bit more difficult uh, to set up. And uh, but uh, so far, I'm not sure if there's that much of a difference between the two uh, the two system. Uh, I got a good report. Uh, I think I went as far as uh, Puerto Rico or something like that, so which is not too bad. Uh, couldn't find anybody on the 12 meters. It's really hard to to uh, find somebody on 12 meters, except if you are doing FT8. But uh, on the 50 meters, uh, the SWR uh, wasn't that great, but it, it was workable. I think it was somewhere between the 1.8 to 1.5. But I still got uh, good reports. I think I got 5.7, 5.9, which is not too bad. So, yeah, so I mean, I'm pretty happy so far with this, uh, the result of this antenna. And uh, hopefully uh, I can run some more tests and see it uh, uh, if comparing to my uh, Yagi, uh, the two elements, Yagi, uh, the fishing poles. Uh, even though I like more this, this antenna because it's, uh, it's easier to uh, set up much faster. And uh, you don't need it to, to put on the ground, like uh, the, uh, the fishing poles, you need it to put on the ground, set up on the ground, and then you put on the, uh, on the mast. Basically this one, you just put the boom on the mast and uh, those, uh, the hubs on each end, and that's it, you're, you're set up. So it takes much, much, much faster. All right, guys, so uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, 73.